So this is the Gen 2 wall mount light. If you're familiar with the Gen 2 system, it's a modular storage system that I started back in 2019. I actually have the first drawer right here, which started really basic. It just was a under the desk solution for, you could 3D print, right? So last year I came out with the tabletop kit, um, which actually ended up being more popular than the under table solution, which I was not expecting. But something that I have been asked about frequently was wall mounting. So if I actually take this and I show you the backside, these are just regular cases, uh, beefed up just a little bit, designed around the idea of wall mounting. You don't need any special uh, brackets or anything on the wall. All you need are wood screws. Um, and to position them, you can either use the drawers themselves or you can print a hole, drill hole guide template. Each division right here is a Gen 2 unit wide. So one wide, two wide, three wide. And you can keep going with this. You don't have to stop. Um, the other tool I recommend is a level. Um, should have one of these for a lot of projects. You can use a pencil, pen, or I like using a pick here, which also seconds as a pilot hole for drilling. So we're gonna line this up. I already have some of these holes drilled, but I wanna add more to it. Um, so we'll line that up here. We're gonna make sure that this is a level. And then we're gonna use the pick to mark the drill hole spots. To extend it further, you can always just slide it over a little bit. Now you don't have to mark every single position. For instance, if you're doing a double drawer, you can take your drawer case and you can actually look at where the holes would be. Like here you can see they're quite far apart. Next we'll uh, put the screws in. The screw that I would recommend using is a countersunk head screw. Um, here I have a number six, you could use a number eight um, or any of the equivalents of that in uh, metric. And we'll attach it um, about a quarter inch or about a centimeter from the wall. And then we will manually tighten that um, afterwards. So as you can see here, this is a Gen 2 case. And this is the back side of it, which has the um, slots for wood screws. There's also an additional slot here that can be used for locking it in position. Or if you use these lower down, um, you can use that as an additional anchor point if you want it to be more secured to the wall. Um, it just makes it a little harder to um, quickly uh, move units around, but you have that option. And these are really quick to assemble. They pretty much print whole. I am using one of the new magnet clips here, which just go in like that. And if you have a compatible drawer with that, with a magnet, it will magnetically stick together. So very cool. Um, and of course, the best part of the Gen 2 system is the quick lock and those easily attach right into the drawer case, like so. And that allows it to snap together. So um, attaching to these to the wall, 
Uh, I like to use one of these just to fine tune the distance that the screws are from the wall. So we'll just start here at the end. You can put that in and you can see there's quite a bit of slop. So we're just gonna grab a screwdriver, which I handily have uh, not prepared. So using just a regular handheld screwdriver, we can then manually tighten that to where it feels secure. You wanna make sure it's not hanging too loose from the wall because then it might put more stress on it. If you get that balance between it being just snug enough to slide it off, um, but not being too tight, um, that's the sweet spot. Okay, so now we'll do that for all of the screws. But trust me, once it's done, it's pretty easy. Okay, now that we have all the screws installed using our template, and we have them screwed to the depth we want, we can start assembling the drawers to the wall. I recommend using the Gen 2 covers. And covers are designed to um, not only cover the drawer cases, but also extend the system horizontally. You can essentially daisy chain them together by staggering them and make it as wide as you like. So this is the Gen 2 cover, um, and I have four parts here. So we have two um, cover uppers. This is a one wide and this is a two wide. And then we have two cover lowers. Um, we have a one wide here already attached and a two wide right here. So I'm gonna slide those together and I'm staggering these because I can link them together and it can, creates a continuous um, cover, essentially, to hold drawers together. You don't have to link them together if you don't want, but in this case, I am. Now, on the lowers, if you're putting a drawer under here and you don't want that drawer to just fall out if you pull it all the way out, some, sometimes that's a good um, thing to have. Most time, you probably do want drawer stoppers. Um, those just snap right in here like so. There's left and right. We're going to then install the cover. And an M3 by six screw. Okay, and there we go. We can take our cover and our drawer cases and snap those in. And so we have a two wide case and a one wide case. And that we're just gonna slide on the wall. And there we go. We have a wall mounted Gen 2 unit. We now can install our drawers And there we go. We have one row of Gen 2 drawers installed to the wall. But you might as well keep expanding. And what makes this system so unique is how quickly you can rearrange it. So it just snaps together. Um, this is something also new that I may or may not have released by the time this video is out where this is a regular drawer case. And those slots that we use for the drawer stoppers, um, this is a base plate um, or a cubby insert um, that just goes in there and snaps into those. Actually, it even creates the uh, drawer stoppers right there. But this now can be used to 
set things on. But obviously as things get taller, um, that's not gonna be tall enough. You could print a taller drawer, but that is where these are case extenders. They don't work with drawers, but they work with cubbies. And we can now make this as tall as we need it. And that will allow us to create storage for taller items. And that's the Gen 2 wall mount light. This kit is really exciting to me because basically any surface, any wall, um, if it's above your workbench, in your office, next to your computer desk, um, it allows you a way to put storage there. Modular storage that you can later rearrange any way you want. You can customize with custom face plates. Even though it started under tabletops and built into tabletop kits, has expanded into what we know today. Speaking of, this is the very first Gen 2 drawer. I, well, actually I call it Gen 1. Um, I built this back in 2019 when I had trouble finding any 3D printable drawer system. There weren't many websites back then that you could find models from. So this, um, this is very special to me. And the cool thing about this is I try to make the system as backwards compatible as possible. This is the very first drawer. And I mean, other than it's a different length, it is still incredibly compatible with the system. So if you want to download this system, uh, visit Girari3D.com. I have a catalog there where it links you to your favorite website to download the models from. Um, it includes also instructions on how to assemble all this stuff. Um, and if you want to support this project, consider joining the Girari Club. I think it's important to release over 90% of the project for free, at least the core models. Um, I do make special things that um, I put a little more time into developing, such as uh, more advanced face plates for the decor series, such as the edge label series here with swappable labels um, and accent pieces. The club has been crucial <laughs> for allowing me to dedicate a lot of time into this. Um, this is still very much my hobby. I enjoy working on this and I enjoy engaging with the community of not just my projects, but similar projects and just a lot of people who have found the fascination that I have in 3D printing. So, um, yeah, that's it. There's, there's going to be a lot more coming to this project. Um, I think this is just a stepping stone to another feature, another pretty big feature. Um, and I hope you consider downloading it and trying it out. Um, and happy printing. Thanks.